Hello, this is Brad from Survival Comps. Now, the Baofeng Mini is, for its price point, an excellent value, and you can see my review of it here. The provided antenna leaves a lot to be desired performance-wise in my testing. And I'm talking about real-world performance, not just doing SWR sweeps. If you do an SWR return loss sweep of this antenna, it looks amazing. This is a sweep of the antenna provided with the second radio in the pack of two on VHF. When you look at this sweep, this is not what you typically see with a shortened VHF antenna. This bandwidth is something you would expect to see on a full quarter wave whip. Like many of the popular HF antenna transformers, this indicates a lossy design. Now this is a sweep of my homebrew shorty antenna, and this is what you should expect to see. A deep dip at the resonant point and a narrow bandwidth. But that really doesn't tell you a whole heck of a lot. Now you can see here with a thermal imager that the antenna actually heats up when transmitting, which is an additional indicator that the antenna sucks. So what are you going to do? Now you can see the short I did on this where I actually talked about this antenna and I've actually constructed a small helical antenna myself here and did some testing against the factory supplied Baofeng antenna. But what about commercial compact antennas? Now this is an example of a dual band compact antenna and the one that would pair with the Baofeng Mini or essentially have an SMA female connector is the SRJ805S. But unless you're paying as much for the antenna as you paid for the radio from a reputable vendor, you're getting a 100% counterfeit UHF only antenna. And it's the same story with most of the other inexpensive compact dual band antennas available. They're either mislabeled UHF antennas or Amazon e-waste. So all of this sent me down the rabbit hole of trying to find the least expensive short vertical VHF antenna. And that led me to this particular antenna here on eBay for a whopping $2.80 each. Now, mind you, you have to get a pack of five of them for $14, which adds free shipping. And a link to this particular vendor on eBay is in my video description if you're interested in procuring some of these for your own testing. Now, the question is, is how does this antenna compare to our factory Baofeng antenna? And how does it compare to what I consider to be the best of breed in shortened VHF vertical antennas, which is a smiley two meter stubby duck? Now, the stubby duck, although it's an excellent antenna, it is the same price as you're going to pay for a Baofeng Mini. It's about $22. However, for our testing purposes, this is going to provide a great comparison. We're going to start with a sweep of the $3 duck, which is our antenna under test. As you already saw the sweep of the Baofeng antenna, or a reference antenna, in a previous slide. I don't get too wrapped up in SWR measurement except to show that the antenna is tuned for the band we are interested in and that it is behaving as we would anticipate as I outlined earlier. Here is a sweep of the Smiley Short Duck. Now we are going to move on to the important measurements. We're going to start with a received signal strength test. We have a small signal generator located 50 yards away producing a 10 second carrier and this is the received signal on the spectrum analyzer. First up is our Baofeng antenna and our test signal is minus 77.8 decibel milliwatts. Now moving along to our $3 duck test antenna, we can see our signal is just a tad under minus 69 decibel milliwatts. In this case our test antenna is exhibiting a gain of almost 9 dB over the Baofeng antenna, which is considerable. Next is our Smiley Short Duck, and it is exhibiting a gain of 9.3 dB above our Baofeng antenna. Now moving along to our transmit field strength testing. Now our antennas under test are connected to the Baofeng Mini as a test transmitter running on high power located 30 yards away from our spectrum analyzer which is receiving the signal with a standard reference antenna. The Baofeng antenna is providing a signal of minus 39.5 decibel milliwatts. 
per square meter and our $3 duck is providing almost 8 dB of gain over the bow fang. Things get really spicy when we repeat the test with the smiley short duck, giving us almost 12 dB of gain compared to the bow fang antenna, which is remarkable, and it is giving us almost 4.5 dB over our $3 duck. It's pretty obvious you get what you pay for with a smiley antenna. Here is the data compiled for your review. It is important to make it clear that when we look at gain, we are looking at it as gain in relation to a reference, which in this case is the antenna provided with the Mini. It is obvious that the provided antenna with the Mini leaves a lot to be desired on VHF, which is a shame as it makes the user invest in the additional expense of an aftermarket antenna. It is my hope that the $3 example presented here will suffice for the end user at VHF. I hope this helps. This is Brett from Survival Comms. Until next time.